So today, give me three minutes, and I'm going to talk to you about this LED light by Amscope, which you can use to make macro images or video. That's the beauty of it. Here's the base unit. Completely adjustable. Both lights adjust together. No big surprise there. They're six watts each. This is what the base unit looks like. Some of you may want to know what it weighs. It weighs three pounds and one ounce, so it's not going to fall over. Crank the lighting up. You can darken the background lower the light power adjust that to your exposure and you can darken or lighten as you desire if you're taking really detailed macro images you want the background probably to disappear so you can crank them up 6500 degrees kelvin per each light they didn't offer any options for that so that's a very cool light so you'll have to change it warm it up in post-production each gooseneck connects here i'm going to show you the details but I also have a recommendation about this. When you take these apart, uh, you'll see that they only go in one way. You can't confuse it, can't mess it up, but the threads are kind of crude. I highly recommend putting this together. There's a protective cap there. I recommend you put it together and leave it together. Get yourself a pillowcase or something and store it on the shelf and just put a cover on it. Here's the glass lens for the LED light. Very sharp, harsh light, by the way. So for photography or video, you're going to want to diffuse that. And at the very end, I'm going to show you what I use for that. And uh, it just shows it has these little cooling fins on it, too. It does heat up quite a bit. So if you're shooting something that's temperature sensitive, you're going to want to keep your lights kind of pushed back from it. Here's the back of the unit. Here's where I marked also that it weighs 3 pounds, 1 ounce. So those are the specs. 3 watts times 2. So each light is 3 watts. DC input, you have an AC adapter. I kind of like the AC adapter. I'm going to show you why. If you look at the plug here, it's thin, and it plugs in horizontal. Guess what's good about that? You can plug in more than one on your duplex wall outlet. I'm so sick of the adapters that take up the whole outlet. These are the specs on the back of the AC adapter, so if you lose one, you can uh, find out what you need to replace it. Very detailed there. It has these little feet that are rubbery, but also rigid enough to hold it in place. Also notice that the casing has this kind of knurled finish on it. Nice, non-glare, easy to grip. How long is a gooseneck laid out straight? I have an answer for you. It's 23 inches complete, 22 inches to the threaded area, 21 inches for the adjustable or bendable part. You can bend them around. They hold their position pretty good, by the way, in any direction. If you want to diffuse your light, get one of these really cheap strobe covers for a speed light. Put that on both goosenecks together, you get a soft cast light. Let me show you the difference on that. So you'll want to crank them up to full power, of course, when you're doing that. Look how soft it is on this piece of cardboard. For comparison, let's see them undiffused. Look how sharp that light is. So you want to diffuse your light for video or still photography, that's it. I hope you found this review helpful and thanks for watching.